नमस्कार हेलो एंड वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स पेरेंट्स टीचर्स हु ऑल आर वाचिंग अस वी होप यू आर सेफ एंड हेल्दी वी आर हियर टू डू एक्टिविटीज एंड अमेजिंग टास्क विद यू ऑल बट what we are going to talk about today any guesses let me give you some hints with a small rhyme will you repeat after me okay let's go some things are big some are small a monkey is short and a giraffe is tall trees are heavy and leaves are light You all seem excited am i thinking right experiencing the world is such a pleasure welcome to today's measure treasure dear students today we are going to discuss about measurements of different things around us and the chapter's name is rani's gift so let's start and read the story rani's gift Once upon a time Raja Jagdeep wanted to make a beautiful carved bed for his queen. He called his best carpenter from the town. I want a bed which is 10 hand spans long, said Raja Jagdeep. Okay Maharaj, said the carpenter. The carpenter started making the bed and he is making sure It is 10 hand spans long. Carpenter brought the bed into the palace. He was with his son. I am unable to fit in, says the queen. Now, Raja Jagdeep is measuring the bed and thinking, how is that possible? He starts measuring. 1 2 3 8 It is only 8 hand spans long. But how is it possible? Carpenter's son also started measuring the bed. 1 2 3 14. It is 14 hand spans. Everyone including Raja was confused. Then comes the mantri and he says, "I have a solution for this." He is holding a stick. Dear students, we can see in the picture that mantri is holding a stick in his hand. Do you think it can solve the confusion of how long the bed actually is? Blink, think. Hmm. I hope you got some ideas. Let's look at this bed again. This is Raja Jagdeep's hand span. He wanted a 10 hand spans long bed. And this is the carpenter's hand span. He made a 10 hand span long bed. But his hand span is smaller. So he actually made a smaller bed. It was only 8 hand spans of Raja Jagdeep. And here the child's hand span is even smaller so the bed measured 14 hand spans for him this happened because the three hand spans are different in sizes but mantri stick can solve the problem if raja uses the stick to measure the required length of the bed and gives it to the carpenter the bed will be perfect in size because they have measured the bed with the same object dear friends after the story it's activity time now so one two let us do we are going to measure the length of a few objects using our textbook but first we need to estimate it that is before actually measuring it we will make a guess of the length of the desk i think this table is 6 textbooks long how long is your desk 
After estimating, we can find its actual length. Let's try for this table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a little more than that. So, my table is 5 textbooks long but it is little extra than 5 textbooks. How long is your desk? Estimate it first and then measure it using your textbook. Similarly, you can estimate and measure the length of your blackboard and the window of your class and write it here in the boxes given. Dear learners, I have a question for you now. If someday you are getting late to school, what do you do to reach on time? Okay, you might walk fast or even run. And what about the path? Do you take the longer route or the shortest route? Hmm, in this situation, you take the shortest path to reach school on time. Our friend Kavita is also getting late. Let us help her in finding the shortest path. We can use a thread to measure the length of the path. Let's try the different paths. Let's enjoy this a little more. We have three paths here. Each path goes from point A to the point B. We need to choose the longest path and make the shortest path. We can also count the lines like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. Let us count the path in the first picture. In the first one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 lines. Hmm. I believe this task is going to be fun when done with family and friends. Dear friends, till now we have used two methods to measure the length. In the activity where we helped Kavita in reaching school on time, we used thread and in the boxes we counted the lines. You can use any of the method to find the shortest path between the point A and B. Do practice and write the response here. Dear friends, we have used hand spans, textbooks and sticks also to measure the length of things. Can we use some blocks to measure a few tall things? Of course, we can. So here, our friends have stacked blocks like this and they are trying to find the height of their toys. Can you observe and try to fill in the blanks. Let's go ahead. The giraffe is dash blocks tall. Let's find out the length of the giraffe by counting the blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So the giraffe is 9 blocks tall. We write the number 9 here. The dash is 7 blocks tall. Is it a monkey, an elephant or a camel? We need to tell who is 7 blocks tall. Are you able to find dear students? Let's count till the 7th block and see who is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 and we can see the camel here. So the camel is 7 blocks tall. We write the word camel here. Hmm. I believe this task is going to be fun when done with family and friends. Let's recall what all we have measured. Firstly, we measured the bed for Rani. Then our desks, blackboard and the window. Then 
द पाथ फॉर कविता फ्रॉम हर होम टू स्कूल देन द डिफरेंट पाथ बिटवीन ए एंड बी एंड लास्टली वी मेजर्ड सम टॉयज वॉट्स लेफ्ट ओ आर हैंड शैल वी मेजर आर हैंड लेट्स ट्राई सो लेट अस डू हाउ लॉन्ग इज योर हैंड Trace your hand in the space given below and count the number of lines. I am going to try it here. This is my hand. Let's count the lines. 1 2 3 4 17 18 19 and 20. It is longer than 20 lines. In your textbooks you have a similar picture where lines are given. You can draw your hand and count the number of lines. Hmm. I believe this task is going to be fun when done with family and friends. So start quickly and record your measurements. Friends, we will meet again in another fun filled session. Till then, keep learning. keep exploring and keep enjoying take care namaskar